And then, and then listen, is there, are you hearing crickets? Is he going to obfuscate, change the subject? Um, is he going to turn your question into a question? Sometimes they're, they, they're using guts and you don't, they don't even know they're doing it. Okay. But, and you've got to get back to find out because if he doesn't have the money, what's your next decision, Sam? Uh, then it's time to cut them loose. Yeah, it's just, over. Uh, tie in. It's over. When it do you follow up? It sounds like it's over or you switch to the consultant. You switch to consulting. Consulting. Okay. okay. So let's go back in that role play. Rick, you just asked him, well, how much do I need? We, we, we did once around. Sammy, you have to answer them now and, and see how the negotiation goes. All right. Uh, okay. Rick, we typically do 5% down. That comes out to about 10,000. Um, how comfortable are you with that? Actually, I was talking to my, a friend of mine and he said like with the, the loans right now, these days, you can come up with like three and a half percent, like, you know, so I was looking around six, $7,000. Uh, will that work with you? Um, if I can get your commitment, uh, if you could go ahead and uh, agree to an agreement today, um, if I would interest fee free and not that three, would you be able to go ahead and sign that uh, 9,000 today? I'll come down a little bit, but you need to come up. 9,000. Uh, and uh, so that will be a, more of a security deposit that you're going to keep it. And then what you're going to put towards my house. That would be the an option. Yes, house. that would go towards the uh, cost of the house. Okay. And then what happens if I don't buy it? Well, if you don't buy it, then you lose that option money because I've held it, withheld <laughs> it from the market. Okay. So, okay, so, but, but so you're going to take the whole money or are you going to give me like half of it or something? Um, you said you had, if what, I come six, up with 9,000 today, if you, if you come back up with 9,000 today, keep going. Right. Right. And then, uh, so for example, two years down the road, if everything works out good, you're going to carry the 9,000 towards my house. But yeah. if I can, and for any reason, but will you give me 5,000 back and keep the four or like how did that go? No, I can't. I can't do that because I've held the house off the market for two years and I've lost all the appreciation in that market for two years. So basically just, I'm giving you my... Just tell them you... Why is that important to you? No, just, to, just tell them we have a problem. By the way, okay. did you have... You came down like that to $9,000 right away. You didn't get any commitment back from him. Mm. Let, let's can I you mind if I step in for a second and we renegotiate that Rick yeah sure Rick we need ten thousand dollars down is that comfortable for your budget if we can get you into that house on uh, uh, May 15th actually see, uh, I was talking to my friend and they said that you need only three and a half percent with the loans and stuff like oh. that you go to the bank and so I had like six seven thousand dollars available I guess we got 10, 000, I, I guess we know. got a problem I guess it's over we got a problem because we need 10,000 down, sorry. So maybe stay a few more years in that one bedroom apartment with your girlfriend and the five chihuahuas. You knew I was gonna bring in chihuahuas um, and for a couple of years and then call me back, okay? Okay, so, okay. so that te technically you're cutting me off. I'm technically, I'm what? Uh, you're, you're cutting me off like you're saying- Oh, uh, no, no, I wanna do business with, let me ask you this. If money was, if the money, if, if the money wasn't an issue right now, right. you wouldn't be able to make a commitment on this property to move in for May 15th, right? Yeah, if money was not the issue, yeah. Yes, oh. I like the house. I saw the house. I went, I passed, I went there two times. I saw the house. She likes it. I like it. Uh, it's a nice house. If we could just find a way to fix this problem um, on it, because uh, for our investors, and you know, we find the property, we got to fix it up, we clean it up, and everything like that. Uh, oh, let me think here for a second. Oh, struggle, struggle, struggle. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this, Rick. And it's okay to say no. Suppose you could put six thousand down today. Is that what I heard? Yes. Suppose we instead of eight fifty, we made it nine fifty, and you pay an extra hundred dollars on top of the rent for the. Uh, for the uh, additional $4,000 over the next three years on the contract. If I was willing to do that, that wouldn't make a difference in us doing business today, would it? So, and then what happens if I buy a house earlier? Like within you, a year then, or two, if I buy the house. Then and you still owe me the, you still owe me whatever the balance is of the remaining $4,000 you owe me. 
Does that does that make Eight. sense? Can we move, can we move forward, Rick? I want to do business with you, but I, I really I have like six, seven other people who are calling me on this property. Can we do business on that today? Okay, uh, ask a uh, role play. So if, if I say yes, like for example, uh, I, but we have not talked about the credit check and all that stuff. We do. So That's right. First, we have to tackle the money. That's part. right. Okay. What's the what's the most what's the most important thing in business? Here's a mis you guys can disagree with me on this. This the way most investors do it is they do tons of due diligence up front. The credit check, the inspection of the property, the repairs, the the mor mortgage, everything else. In my mind, what's the most important thing when I'm negotiating with someone on the first phone call? Getting them emotionally committed. What do you mean, Mark? Get, Get the commitment first. Getting them sold. You got to sell the, the, the emotion. If they're sold, if they agree in their mind that no matter what, I love this house, my wife's falling in love with it, I have to get it. I'm not going to let a measly $4,000 stand in my way. Exactly. Sean, what were you going to say? I said, commitment now. As a wise man once said, you can fix it later. That is, a, thank you, Sean. That is the, you can always fix it later. How many people here show, okay, everybody's on two martinis and sodium pentothal. How many people here have driven in their cars or been on the phone way too long? Gave Guilty. That, gave, gave Guilty. Gave that, gave, <laughs> gave that million dollar presentation, okay? You gave that brilliant presentation, all that intellectual gobbledygook and everything. And what did the prospects say at the end of that 45, 60 minute presentation? I'll call you later. Let me take a look at the paperwork. Let me think about it. I'll I don't call have you the, next week. Right. I don't have the money. I've got to speak to the owner of the property. Wait, I thought you were the owner. I've had that happen to me so many times. Whose fault is this? If you don't talk about the money or the authority to make a decision or the timeliness, or the motivation. If you don't talk about these things up front and you find it's out about fault. it later on, after giving all that free information, fault. whose fault is it? It's your fault. Ours. It's our fault. My, you know, we've got to, believe me, I have given more brilliant presentations to people who didn't have two nickels to rub together, you know? And so, you ever, go ahead. Circling back, to how do you structure it so that you